Hello, I'm Bob the Flam from Crowley Fuel in North Brookfield, Massachusetts, and I'd like to tell you a bit about the Pelagy pellet burner system. This is the Pelagy system here. It replaced this oil burner that came standard with this boiler, and there's no other uh, change that had to be made. All that had to be done was to take the door and the burner off, disconnect the oil line and plug it, set it aside, and then, of course, disconnect the electrical supply and then put together all of the parts of the Pelagy system. And I'm going to explain to you what those parts are so that you understand how this works. But it's a very simple system that burns pellets in the place of oil. This is a Baduras G215 boiler. This is one of the boilers that will accept the Pelagy system. The important thing is that you need to have a triple pass boiler that has a swing door and that's what the Baduras has. You'll see this door will swing open and you'll be able to reach all of the flue passages because it's a tri triple pass boiler from the front of the boiler. So that's the important thing is when we look for a boiler that will take or accept the Pelagy burner it needs to be one that is a triple pass and that has a swing door because there is some maintenance involved. You need to clean the fly ash out of these periodically. So that's why you need to have a very specific boiler. Not every boiler will work with this system. The way this Pelagy system works is with this control. Now we need to think about this as the economy of wood heating with the safety of oil heat. The basic function here is all controlled by an LED control here so it's always telling you what's going on with this burner and with this boiler because it's it's picking up temperature readings and and draft readings so and high limits so that this boiler will not run hotter than it should and it will not run if the flame quality is poor. So it's monitoring all these things through the control here that has an LED readout on the front. Now what this control will do is when a zone calls for heat, it'll come through the switching relay, which is a normal control that you'll find on a burner, oil burner, and it will activate the control. The control will activate this auger motor and the auger motor will start to feed pellets into the burner. It'll feed a, an initial amount and the igniter will start to ignite them. So there's an ignition process. Once that process is established and there's a flame, then more air, there's a blower here that will provide more air to the, to the fire. And what that will do is eventually create more flame and a brighter flame so then it can go into its firing process and that's all been calculated according to the BTU rating for this boiler so it'll start to drop in more pellets and keep the flame going so that the boiler will warm up and the water inside the pipes will circulate through the house or through the indirect hot water storage tank we have a bin that holds 550 pounds of pellets and an auger system inside this PVC tube that goes down to the bottom that will feed the auger works like a screw and it's powered by this motor and it brings them up to the top and drops them down this tube into the burner and into a burn chamber that's inside this boiler. So this is a 550 pound bin that comes with this system and you can actually buy a kit where you can have a bigger uh, bin you could have a bin that would hold four or five ton um, and have them delivered by bulk rather than using bags and dumping bags into your into your hopper I want to emphasize that there's not much change to this boiler we still have all the same basic parts, the flue pipe and all the electrics are pretty much the same as you would have and all the safeties 
from oil, but it is important to know that as separate from oil, what's different from oil is that you need to have a lined chimney. So this flue pipe goes into a chimney that's lined. So it's important that you have a lined chimney or you factor in needing to replace your chimney. But again, all the electrics are the same. You have a thermal couple, uh, a thermal switch above the burner that will shut the burner off if it gets too hot in this vicinity, um, just like you would with oil. So we have added a few extra things that we've talked about, but everything else has stayed the same. We removed the burner and uh, the oil burner and we put on the Pelagy burner is the difference. I'd like to talk about what happens last with this system and that's the shutdown process. Once the heat is all satisfied, the burner will go into shutdown. There's still a fire established, so the control is, is sensing the fire and, and provides it with air so that it will burn out. And then at the end of every tenth cycle, there's a compressor here that I'd like to point out to you that will blow air, compressed air, through all of the little air uh, supply holes in the burner that supply fire to the uh, air to the fire. So this little compressor is, is all connected and the control will call it on after every tenth cycle to blow the air through the air intake holes to clean them out of the ash. And the ash will end up in the bottom of the boiler where it can be cleaned periodically by the homeowner. These zones will provide heat to the whole house. So with this Pelagy burner on a central heating system like this Badurus boiler, you can get all of your heat and your hot water from one system. Uh, we went from, you know, wood to coal to, you know, pellets. And we, we liked the idea of pellets. It seemed like it was easier. But I was a little skeptical about, like, a, a pellet stove or a pellet insert. I wanted an even heat. And I didn't want to be reliant on oil anymore. So when we looked into it, I found, you know, the Pelagy system, it's a lot quieter. I, I, and that, that was a surprise to me, especially with a, uh, an air compressor and everything, you know, I figured it'd be louder, but no, it's quieter. This thing starts up, you can't hear it. I mean, other than thinking you're at Foxwoods when you hear a few little, uh, you know, pellets drop down, that's nothing. <laughs> the, the people I talk to, they all want to come on over and look at it, they want to check it out, they want to know how it's going. I know a lot of people with newer houses that might not have to get a new boiler. They, are, they already have new, new equipment, so they might just need the Pelagy system, so that's real attractive to these people, too.